Weather's a bit active right now across the area, and rain is starting to fall across western Ohio. Looking at the Almanac really quick, 75 is our high today, 66 was our low this morning. So far at the Allen County Airport, 8 hundredths of an inch of rain, but that will undoubtedly increase as it goes over the next few hours. Look at satellite and radar right now. It's active across the area. Let's go to the north. Paulding, Defiance, Henry, and Putnam counties have more of a stratiform rain right now of steady to moderate rain at times. Once we get to Allen County and point south where things become a bit more thundery and convective of nature, we have a line of storms from Elida pushing down between Spencerville and Crydersville. This will push an Alima within the next few minutes. And as we go across our southern counties, this line of storms continues down through Wapakoneta, Botkins, Anna, and will push into Sydney within the next five to 10 minutes. And this will march over to the US 68 corridor over the next half hour to 45 minutes. And this is all due to this cold front attached to this low pressure system near Lake Michigan, pu pushing east where we have warm human air in front of it. But behind it, we do have some drier air come circulating behind that low with a dry slot and I turn on the surface map as well as upper level moisture because you can really see this dry slot. The dry air is in the beige colors and the moist air is in the green colors. Once that cold front pushes through that dry slot will punch in the area tomorrow morning. That will briefly dry out our weather and cause rain chances to go down dramatically but that wraparound moisture could give us a few afternoon scattered showers across the area before that moisture departs and that low moves off to the east. Looking at Skycast, showers and storms continue right now. They will slowly diminish in coverage as we go overnight. Tomorrow morning will drop off. Temperatures quite cool in the middle 50s. It should be mostly dry. By the afternoon hours, temperatures will only rise in the middle 60s with afternoon scattered showers possible. So make sure you have that umbrella with you handy at times. And lastly, I don't want to forget, it will also be pretty breezy during the daytime hours before we drop off in the lower 50s for Tuesday morning. So for tonight, scattered showers and storms, especially early, low temperature around 55 degrees. Going into our daytime tomorrow, a taste of fall, breezy, 10 to 20 mile per hour wind high of 66 and watch out for those afternoon scattered showers with that wraparound moisture. Looking at the seven day forecast, Tuesday will feature partly cloudy skies, can't rule out a spotty shower with a high 71. Wednesday morning, gorgeous 54 degrees and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday all deserve A plus weather with lots of sunshine, comfortable humidity and temperatures rising into the upper 70s to lower 80s for highs with morning temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Sartage.